Hey y'all, this is Pastor Chad and I'm doing a quick screencast of my iPhone to show you how you can download the My Church app from Alexio. This is our database for your phone. You can do this in Android or in, on iPhone. I have an iPhone so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to find the App Store if you have an iPhone. You're going to click on that button and I simply typed in, you can see at the top of the screen, My Church app. When you type in My Church app, you're going to see this little church building in the blue um, square with rounded edges called My Church by Alexio. When you do that, you're now going to download that app, and it'll take a moment. You'll then open it, and when you open it, you're, this is what you'll see. You will see you need to type in, the very first thing is our church's website, so www slwcog.com. You'll click go. Then that shows you that you have made it to our church's version of the My Alexio app. You'll click those three lines at the top left corner, and at the bottom, you'll see the option to log in. That's what you'll need to do next. You'll type in your, um, your email address. Mine is Pastor Chad at slw cog.com and you will type in your respective email address then you will type in either the password that was emailed to you by Alexio when you accessed um, the app for the first time um, or you will create an account if you've never done that before but since I have um, already done this and if you've ever logged in to do um, like online giving you will already be um, you will already be logged in as well um, so I forgot what where I was in my password, so I'm going to um, re-enter that. And that should give us access. Now what you'll see is when you touch the three um, lines at the left top corner again, you will now have access to the church directory by clicking church directory. Let me show you what one of these might look like by choosing mine. Um, you will see this contact information for me on my phone right here. If I collect, uh, click on my address, it's immediately going to send me to Google Maps and give me directions to my house. Um, if I go back into the app, uh, you can directly send a text message to me by hitting send text. Uh, and then if you want to call somebody from the church app, you just simply click on their phone number and it will send you. What you will also see at the top here is um, personal information about me, that I'm married, a male in my 40s. You'll see my birth date. Uh, on there. You'll see my status as a member. You'll see my household if you click the third tab, the middle tab, uh, and then you can see all of my child uh, family. If you click on them, you'll see their information. And then there's a, a spot for notes. If something's going on, you might see that a note has been added, or if some sort of follow-up needs to be tagged to um, me. For instance, let's say I need Lottie to call me for prayer. We will type that button. Uh, Chad needs prayer, uh, enter the action, call, and I can assign to anybody that is in the database currently. Um, you'll see these people. I'm just going to, for the sake of this, assign that to faith. And so when I save, that is going to show up, um, that's going to show up on her activity. Add follow-up. Let's see. So I got an email. I'll have an email that um, that that is active there and so I'm going to click done and save. Now um, that is pretty much as simple as it is. Um, I think you can find this very um, helpful. If you do download this app you can see that you can also give um, via online through the giving app. Um, you can get um, upcoming events that are happening at the church. We don't have many of those in yet. Uh, but this will give you um, the ability you need to do lots of things. So if you need further help, let me know and we'll help you get logged in.